is where it is. And I'm going to show you it's from Don Winslow, a best-selling author and popular Twitter personality and Biden supporter. Yeah, they do exist. Uh, let's let's check out the video he made uh, and uh, how sickening, disgusting, and divisive it is. Just riddled with vile lies, hatred, and insanity. Honor before January 20th, Donald Trump will no longer be the commander in chief. He will lose control of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Special Forces, and America's nuclear arsenal. On January 20th, Donald Trump will become the commander in chief of a different army. This army. The greatest threat facing America today comes from within. Radical extreme conservatives, also known as domestic terrorists. They're <laughs> Extreme conservatives, also known as domestic terrorists. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. It's almost as if it's a parody video. <laughs> it kind of just sounds that way, the way he's talking. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Can you see it? Also known as domestic terrorists. It's like, it's like if I were to say Black Lives Matter activists, also known as communists. Like, I don't know. It, it just seems tacky and... Like a parody almost. They're hidden among <laughs> us, disguised behind regular jobs. They are your children's teachers. They work at supermarkets, malls, doctor's offices, and many are police officers and soldiers. For more than a decade, Donald Trump has spoken directly to white supremacists in their language. Build that wall! Build that wall! Build that wall! Pocahontas, is it offensive? Oh. Oh, really? oh, I'm sorry about that. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. In the middle of a presidential debate, Donald Trump was asked to disavow white supremacy. He refused. Instead, he told the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by. Proud, Proud Boys, stand back and stand by. They heard their leader. They even responded to him on Twitter, promising to stand by. And on January 6, 2021, Trump greenlit them. They suited up, they flew in, they took hotel rooms, they loaded their weapons, prepared their bombs, and they attacked with the intention of killing Nancy Pelosi and hanging Vice President Mike Pence. These were a bunch of guys LARPing, dressed up as like Vikings and furries, and they get like this one photo of some guy that I... I doubt was even really there as a true Trump supporter or anything like that. It was probably just one of the shills they had embedded in the movement. Um, with that storming of the Capitol building on the 6th, someone with zip ties. Uh, yeah, but the whole thing is they're trying to label this uh, breach that was allowed to happen. Clearly, the police let these protesters in and I think it was staged to some degree and I think some of these protesters might have been paid uh, controlled opposition shills and actors maybe not though I mean it doesn't really matter uh, but definitely the police let them in and that, that that's the whole point right and it's clear as day what happened they were <laughs> clearly let in and it was a LARP show that's all it was it was a LARP show and I know there was some violence no doubt but and, and, you know, God rest the the souls of the people who, who passed away as a result, too. I mean, it was it was some intense moments, but a lot of it was LARPing. It, and we all know that. We all saw the videos. Yeah, they're trying to make it out it's like it's like s the worst thing since the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Okay, and I, I'm, we're going to finish this video, and I'm going to show you some of the overreaction to, to what happened on January 6th. <laughs> They were vocally saying, where's the speaker? We know she has staff. They're here someplace. We're going to find them. In the years ahead, Trump will lead his army of domestic terrorists. He will encourage and incite violence. He will play the role of arsonist and fireman. He will start a civil war and then say things were more peaceful when he was president. We have to fight back. In this new war, the battlefield has changes. Computers can be more valuable than guns. And this is what we need now more than ever, an army of citizen detectives. I'm proposing we form a citizen army. Our weapons will be computers and cell phones. We, who are monitoring extremists on the internet and reporting their findings to authorities. Remember, before the Navy SEALs killed Osama bin Laden, he had to be found. He was found by a CIA analyst working on a computer thousands of miles away. So notice how they're comparing uh, people who support Trump to Osama bin Laden. 
like I said at the beginning, the new Osama bin Laden is people like like us. Uh, and it, it it goes way beyond just being like a Trump supporter or anything like that. It's people who are skeptical of the establishment. It doesn't even matter about Trump. And this was all done by design, in my opinion. But um, now as a result of the LARP fest that went down in the Senate chamber and in the U.S. Capitol building on January 6th, they're already saying 12 National Guard members have been removed from the inauguration security mission. They're saying that they're ousting and vetting National Guard troops who are guarding there. It's possible it's an inside job that will happen, or it's possible this is just part of the, th- the, the whole plan to demonize anybody who supports Trump. Obviously, the military is <laughs> probably three-quarters Trump supporters, three-quarters of the military, obviously, for various reasons. Um, it's weird that the media and the establishment and the politicians and officials are saying to not trust your own military. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. And this whole thing with these troops in D.C. is just insane, and there is something going on. And I don't know what it is, but we'll find out tomorrow. Either way, at the very least, you'll never see them ever leave. Because like I said before, the government never gives you back your freedom. Once you give it up, they don't just give it back. It never works that way. You'll never see the U.S. Capitol ever again without barbed wire fencing, National Guard troops, or some sort of intense militarized presence ever again perhaps until the fall of babylon itself (laughs) so yeah it'll always be that way from now on and possibly you'll see something much bigger happen and more deployed across the whole country and then you'll be in full martial law possibly you know this is this is a possibility and then not only will you have the covid restrictions the the mass vaccination rollout and uh, the eventual mandatory vaccinations uh, and the lockdowns with the government telling you which businesses can and can't be open and you know the government eventually saying oh you can't go more than five miles away from your home you have to stay indoors during this time during the day and can only go outside during this time like what they're doing in other countries this is what biden will bring about and then they'll have military on the streets enforcing it everywhere think about that i'm just saying this is a possibility and if it doesn't happen tomorrow it could happen real soon besides tomorrow as well with another false flag so this is the plan i think just absolute nightmare scenario our only hope is to get into the mountains and hide uh we're in a lot of trouble <laughs> like lately i've been taking the black pill a little bit i don't know let me know what you think about that because it really seems like that could be the case and i just want to do everything i can to stop this i just want to inform as many people as we can because that gives us a chance to survive this uh, a much better chance as a people to survive this by bonding with our local communities and even you know if troops are deployed you, you can you can become friends with them and get them on your side too uh you know a lot of these troops are good people they know what's going on some of them don't though a good amount don't you know you you're you're 50 50 with that with some of these troops some will just follow orders and just shoot you in the head you know others will would never ever ever do that um and they they respect the constitution so so it's very very complicated but i'll leave links let me know what you think um also be sure to follow me on gab gab's a little slow because they're they're getting their servers up because they just had like two million new people join but follow me on gab and enjoy my group as well resisting the great reset also if you want to contribute to my work links for patreon subscribe star paypal and other ways as well As always, it's been press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.